Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk about the idea of father and son duos and relationships being associated with baseball. It's no secret that we always see it in movies like Field of Dreams or in reality with players like Cal Ripken and Cal Ripken Jr. Um, following your father's footsteps with the game of baseball. Sports have been associated historically with males over females. Sports like baseball can often be gendered. So gendering sports like baseball leads to gendered tropes. Father and son when it comes to that idea, the father and son kind of trope that we always associate with baseball. Um, but why do we associate these two concepts together? It's the idea that you start and end at home. So in baseball, you start at home plate and you run the bases and the only way to score is to cross home plate. When you're a kid, your dad is the one who teaches you the game and you know you have a catch or you have someone who is in that mentor, someone older than you essentially teaches you this tradition and you kind of carry it on. And it's films like Field of Dreams or The Rookie that portray this concept of like a broken relationship being reconciled um, through some sort of cathartic experience rooted in baseball. In Field of Dreams, Ray Kinsella has a broken relationship with his father. Um, growing up, he did not get along with his father. He talks about it in the film. There's also a book. The way that he reconciles the relationship with his father is he is through baseball. He builds a baseball diamond. Eventually his dad does come back and they're able to kind of reconcile their broken relationship with the game of catch. I can only watch that movie like maybe once a year because it makes me tear up. It's just this nostalgic idea of um, a father and son being reunited through the game. I think it's kind of something that's larger than life and it's kind of hard to explain but I'm going to do my best to kind of find the roots of this trope. Um, in The Rookie and in reality, like The Rookie is this film, it was also a book, but the true story is Jim Morris did have a, an abusive um, father growing up and at least in the movie he does reconcile this relationship through literally the toss of a baseball. He uses, he takes the baseball that he made his major league debut with and he tosses it to his dad and kind of, if not if their relationship was not resolved, it was definitely a cathartic moment within the film. And it wasn't until Trouble with the Curve that you kind of see this gendered idea, this gendered trope of father and son in baseball um, being kind of encapsulated by a father and a daughter. When I say larger than life, we also see this literally in reality where a couple famous examples of the father and son duo through baseball has been Cal Ripken Sr. and Cal Ripken Jr., Ken Griffey Sr. and Ken Griffey Jr. In fact, on August 31st, 1990, Ken Griffey Jr. and Ken Griffey Sr. were the first father and son duo in Major League Baseball history. We've also seen it with um, Barry Bonds and Bobby Bonds, which is not um, as well known, but yes, um, Barry Bonds' dad did play Major League Baseball. I think this origin of the father and son duo, the father and son um, relationship with being associated with baseball at least, kind of comes into play with the dad teaching his son when he's a kid, the game having a catch when he's a kid, and it can often be carried over to another generation. Whether it is with the father and his son or father and daughter, mother and daughter, mother and son, maybe not as common for some reason because it's a tradition that can be carried on throughout life. So to kind of wrap this up, this idea of the father and son trope within baseball is Yes, it is a gendered trope, but it can be applied to any cathartic sort of relationship with that idea of mentor-mentee and the tradition of playing catch. I think it's the also the idea of the full circle mentality of baseball and life, you know, coming home once you start at home. Um, and then, of course, pop culture kind of makes this a reality if you will, through films like Field of Dreams or Trouble with the Curve. And the reason why I say that larger than life um, aspect is because it has been done in MLB history with people like Ken Griffey Jr. and Ken Griffey Sr. That is all I have. This is on the father and son trope within baseball. Thank you for watching.